Imagine boring through solid rock beneath one of the world's mightiest rivers, creating a tunnel so massive you could fit a five-story building inside it. Right now, beneath China's Yellow River, thousands of workers are creating the world's largest underwater tunnel using machines with the power of 26 million pound-feet of torque. While the world debates China's economic troubles, the communist regime is silently betting billions on a project that's shattering records for both size and speed. The Jinan Huanggang Tunnel is rewriting the rules of what humans can build, and the pace at which they're building it raises serious questions about the true cost of China's infrastructure miracle. China has always built big. The Great Wall, Three Gorges Dam, and the world's largest high-speed rail network all show China's obsession with infrastructure on an almost unimaginable scale. But those projects were built above ground, where construction challenges, while enormous, were at least visible and relatively understood. The Jinan Huanggang Tunnel takes Chinese ambition to an entirely new level, or more accurately, a new depth. This isn't just another road. This is a 3.6-mile engineering marvel being carved beneath the Yellow River, connecting the eastern city of Jinan with new development zones in Shandong province. For context, while not the longest underwater tunnel in the world, Japan's Seiken Tunnel stretches 33.5 miles and the Channel Tunnel connecting England and France runs 31.4 miles. The Jinan Huanggang Tunnel sets records in an entirely different dimension. Size. The tunnel's diameter is a massive 55.8 feet, more than twice the size of the Channel Tunnel's 25-foot diameter tubes. So why is China attempting something so ambitious? The answer lies in both economics and strategic development. The Yellow River has long been both the cradle of Chinese civilization and a natural barrier to transportation. As China's second longest river, it divides important regions and creates bottlenecks for commerce and transportation. The current route between areas north and south of the river requires vehicles to take significant detours or use congested bridges. This tunnel aims to cut travel time dramatically and open up new development opportunities. The Jinan Huanggang Tunnel will feature six lanes of traffic in a revolutionary double-decker configuration, with northbound traffic on the upper deck and southbound on the lower deck. The design speed is 60 km per hour, making it a crucial north-south passage that enhances connectivity between Jinan's main urban area and what Chinese authorities describe as the starting area for the transformation of new and old kinetic energy. This project is especially significant for Jinan, a city of 9.4 million people and the capital of Shandong province. The tunnel connects the established urban core south of the Yellow River with a new state-level strategic pilot zone for free trade, innovation and reform on the north side. Chinese planners view this connection as critical for economic integration and future growth in the region. Construction began in July 2022, with a groundbreaking ceremony held on the north bank of the Yellow River. The underwater boring portion started in September 2024. What's remarkable isn't just the size, but the speed. The China Railway 14th Bureau Group completed the underwater section in just 110 days, setting world records for both size and construction pace. The total project spans approximately 5.8 kilometers, 3.6 miles, with the tunnel section about 4.8 kilometers, 3 miles long. The mechanized tunneling section using the shield boring machine is approximately 3.3 kilometers, two miles long. This makes it substantially shorter than famous underwater tunnels like the Channel Tunnel, but its diameter and construction speed are what make it extraordinary. To understand the true scale of this project, we need to look at the numbers. The main tunnels have an internal diameter of 15.4 meters, 50.5 feet, and an external diameter of 16.8 meters. 55.1 feet, wide enough for three lanes of traffic on each level. The geology presents major challenges. The tunnel must cut through clay, silty clay, sand, calcareous nodules, and glued sand, all while managing significant groundwater pressure. The boring machine itself is an engineering marvel called Shanhei. Manufactured by Heronconnect, this mixed shield tunnel boring machine, TBM, has an excavation diameter of 57.4 feet, 17.5 meters, roughly five stories tall. The cutterhead has 7,510 horsepower and about 26 million pound-feet of torque. The cost of this single machine is estimated at $80 million. This makes Shanhei one of the largest tunnel boring machines ever deployed, comparable to Big Bertha used for Seattle's Highway 99 tunnel and Martina used in Madrid's M30 highway project. 
The key difference is that Shanghai must operate beneath a major river with significant water pressure. What makes the Shanghai TBM special is its ability to operate under extreme pressure. It's built to withstand up to 7.5 bar of pressure, 7.5 times normal atmospheric pressure at sea level, and its excavation chamber can handle up to 15 bar using a specialized automatic air cushion to balance pressure, maintain stability, and prevent collapse or flooding. The tunnel boring process for a project of this scale is fascinating. The cutting wheel is equipped with a flushing system to help prevent clogging from the clay soil. A telescopic camera system in the excavation chamber monitors the cutting bits and tunnel face, reducing the need for dangerous hyperbaric intervention by maintenance workers. The machine advanced at a record-breaking pace of 52.5 to 59 feet, 16 to 18 meters, per day, achieving a monthly progress of about 1,400 feet. This pace would have been considered impossible just a decade ago, but it raises important questions about the trade-offs between speed and safety. The human dimension of this project shouldn't be overlooked. Thousands of workers are involved in this massive undertaking, working in shifts around the clock to maintain the ambitious schedule. Tunnel construction remains one of the most dangerous forms of infrastructure development, combining risks from heavy machinery, confined spaces, and unpredictable geological conditions. In China's drive for rapid development, worker safety concerns have often been secondary to project timelines. While specific safety records for this project aren't publicly available, China's construction industry is known for higher accident rates than Western counterparts. Tunnel projects worldwide are among the most dangerous construction environments, with risks including cave-ins, flooding, toxic gas exposure, and machinery accidents. The engineering challenges extend beyond just boring the tunnel. The shield segments, the interlocking concrete rings that form the tunnel walls, must be precisely manufactured and installed. For the Jinan Huanggang Tunnel, approximately 500 pipe rings of underwater shielding were installed during the 110-day underwater boring phase. Each of these massive concrete segments must be designed to withstand not just the pressure of the water and earth above, but also potential seismic activity. The Yellow River Basin has experienced earthquakes throughout its history, and any tunnel design must account for ground movement that could damage or breach the structure. The environmental challenges are also significant. The Yellow River is ecologically sensitive and prone to flooding and sedimentation, earning it the nickname China's Sorrow for its historic tendency to flood and change course. Any major construction project affecting the river requires careful management of both immediate impacts and long-term stability. Engineers developed innovative waste slurry treatment methods, including jaw crushers, dual-line pipeline hydraulic quarrying devices, and waste slurry concentration systems to ensure environmentally friendly tunneling. This aspect of the project highlights China's growing awareness of the need to balance rapid development with environmental protection, though critics would argue that environmental concerns remain secondary to project completion. The Jinan Huanggang Tunnel Project is being constructed by the China Railway 14th Bureau Group Company Limited, one of China's premier infrastructure development companies with investment from the Jinan Urban Construction Group. This public-private partnership model is common for major infrastructure projects in China, combining government backing with corporate efficiency. Despite the challenges, the Chinese government has continued to push the project forward with remarkable speed. This raises an important question. Is this tunnel worth the enormous financial and human cost? From an economic perspective, Chinese authorities clearly believe the investment will pay off through improved transportation efficiency and regional development. The tunnel connects Jinan's urban core with strategic development zones, potentially catalyzing economic growth across the region. The project also fits within China's broader strategy of using infrastructure investment to maintain economic growth as traditional drivers like export manufacturing and real estate development slow down. Infrastructure spending has become increasingly important for maintaining employment and GDP growth targets, especially in the aftermath of economic disruptions from the COVID-19 pandemic. The Jinan Huanggang Tunnel showcases China's growing expertise in infrastructure megaprojects. The technology and techniques developed for this tunnel have applications far beyond China's borders. Chinese construction firms are actively marketing their tunneling expertise internationally, particularly to countries participating in the Belt and Road Initiative. This represents a sophisticated form of economic diplomacy, exporting not just products, 
but entire infrastructure development systems. As Chinese firms gain experience with projects like the Jinan Huanggang Tunnel, they become more competitive for international contracts, extending China's global influence through infrastructure partnerships. The tunnel project showcases several technological innovations. The massive diameter required specialized engineering solutions not used in previous tunnel projects. The composite lining materials must balance strength with flexibility, particularly in an area that could experience seismic activity. Air quality management represents another major engineering challenge. A tunnel of this size requires massive ventilation systems to remove vehicle emissions and maintain oxygen levels. Complex fire suppression and emergency evacuation systems are being integrated to ensure safety once the tunnel is operational. When completed, the tunnel will incorporate state-of-the-art traffic management systems, including sensors to monitor vehicle flow and environmental conditions, automated incident detection, and dynamic message signs to communicate with drivers. Modern tunnels are as much about information technology as they are about concrete and steel. The total cost of the Jinan Huanggang Tunnel project hasn't been publicly disclosed, but based on comparable projects, experts estimate it at several billion dollars. For comparison, the much longer but narrower channel tunnel cost approximately $21 billion in today's dollars. Maintenance costs will be substantial once the tunnel is operational. Underground infrastructure, especially beneath rivers, requires constant monitoring and periodic renovation to address water infiltration, structural fatigue and systems degradation. The anticipated service life of modern tunnels is typically 100 plus years, but this assumes regular maintenance and periodic major renovations. The project is scheduled for completion in late 2025, though infrastructure projects of this scale often face delays. Once operational, it will dramatically transform transportation in Jinan and set new benchmarks for infrastructure projects worldwide. The Jinan Huanggang Tunnel represents more than just a transportation link. It's a statement about China's engineering capabilities and determination to overcome natural barriers through human ingenuity. While questions remain about the economic rationality and safety of such rapid construction, there's no denying the technical achievement it represents. As cities worldwide grapple with transportation challenges and natural barriers, projects like this offer valuable lessons about the possibilities and limitations of modern infrastructure development. The techniques developed for the Jinan Huanggang Tunnel could influence underground construction for decades to come, potentially making previously impossible infrastructure connections feasible. As the Jinan Huanggang Tunnel inches toward completion, engineers have encountered unexpectedly high pressure zones that are testing the limits of even the mighty Shanhei machine. The race to finish by late 2025 raises a critical question. Is China prioritizing propaganda deadlines over engineering prudence? What's happening beneath the Yellow River might be the ultimate test of whether breaking speed records and breaking safety standards go hand in hand. And the answer could permanently change how we view China's infrastructure miracle. Let us know what you think in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and watch our next one shown on screen.